One, two, one, two, three, four. Journey through time with the most excellent duo of history rockers, Bill and Ted. Strap on your air guitars and get ready to rock out as we take a mind-boggling leap from their most excellent adventure in 1989 to the dazzling present of 2023. These righteous dudes have not only brought us laughter and wild time-traveling antiques, but they've also left an everlasting mark on our hearts. So grab your Wild Stallions t-shirt and prepare to be wowed as we reunite with a groovy cast of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure then and witness their triumphant transformation now. Keanu Reeves, then. Reeves was 25 years old when he played the role of Ted Logan. He was the co-founder of the rock group Wild Stallions. He lived with his father, San Dimas Police Captain Johnson Logan, and his younger brother, Deacon Logan. He met Bill S. Preston, -esque, and the two became friends, forming their own band, the Wild Stallions. He is also clueless about the history and struggles to pass his class. Now, Keanu Reeves is one of Hollywood's most respected and beloved actors. He has become an icon in the industry thanks to his memorable performances in films such as The Matrix, John Wick, and Speed. In addition to acting, Reeves directed the film Man of Tai Chi. He has also played the bass guitar for the band Dong Star and pursued other endeavors such as writing and philanthropy. The actor is currently 58 years old and is dating Alexander Grant. Alex Winter, then. Alex Winter was 24 years old when he played the role of Bill Preston. He is Ted's best friend and bandmate in Wild Stallions. He enjoys bands like Led Zeppelin, Iron Maiden, and other rock groups that were popular during the 80s. One of his most well-known goals is to start a band with Ted called Wild Stallions, though neither Bill nor Ted actually knows how to play any instruments. Now, Alex Winter is currently 57 years old. He is known for his role as Marco in the 1987 vampire film The Lost Boys for co-writing, co-directing, and starring in the 1993 film Freaked, and for directing documentaries in 2010s. He also reprised his role as Bill in Bill and Ted Face the Music, the third installment of the franchise. Winter was married to Sonia Dawson, with whom he had a son born in 1998. The couple later divorced. In 2010, he married Ramsey Ann Nido. They have two children. George Carlin, then. George Carlin was 52 years old and he played the role of Rufus. He was the time-traveling mentor of Bill and Ted. Rufus hailed from the idyllic future of 2688 AD. He was sent back in time about 700 years to 1988 through a time-traveling phone booth. His mission? To make sure that the two great ones remain together to form the band Wild Stallions, whose music will become the core of the future's utopian society. Now, sadly, Carlin passed away in 2008 at the age of 71 due to heart failure. He was widely regarded as one of the greatest comedians of all time and was posthumously awarded the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor. Carlin's film roles included Prank Madras in Outrageous Fortune, Cardinal Ignatius Glick in Dogma, and Bart Trinquet in Jersey Girl. He also had voice roles as Zugor in Tarzan 2, Fillmore in Cars, and as Mr. Conductor in Shining Time Station, as well as narrating the American dubs for the Thomas and Friends segments. Terry Camilleri then, Terry was 40 years old when he played the role of Napoleon. He was a French statesman and military leader who became famous as an artillery commander during the French Revolution. Bill and Ted dragged Napoleon back with them into the present. He was preparing to lead his French imperial forces into battle. Now, Terry is currently 73 years old. He appeared in the 1983 sequel film Superman 3. He also had a little role in Wire's The Truman Show. Other appearances include Special Branch Police Officer Hemmings in the science fiction film Incident at Ravensgate. In 2006, as part of the World Cup campaign in Australia, Hamilieri played the character of History, an 800-year-old orc-like creature, or the Nike Stuff History Advertisements, which is a part of Nike's soccer Joga Bonito advert. Jane Whitley, then. Jane Whitlin was 31 years old when she played Joan of Arc, one of the historical figures that Bill and Ted kidnapped from their respective time periods. Joan of Arc was a French heroine who led the French army against the English in the Hundred Years' War. She was also a devout Catholic who claimed to have visions from God. In the film, she was portrayed as a feisty and energetic woman who enjoyed aerobics and mall shopping. Now, Jane Whitlin is currently 65 years old and still active in the entertainment industry. She is best known as the rhythm guitarist and vocalist of the all female rock band The Go Go's, which had several hit songs in the 1980s, such as We Got the Beat and Our Lips Are Sealed. The band reunited in 2020 for a documentary and a new album called Club Zero. 
Whitlin has also pursued a solo career and released several albums of her own. She has also appeared in other film and TV shows such as The New Batman Adventures, Scooby-Doo, and The Surreal Life. Whitlin has been married to Terrence Lundy since February 2023. Party on, dudes! Robert B. Barron Then, Barron was 57 years old and he played the role of Abraham Lincoln. He was the 16th President of the United States, serving from 1861 to 1865. Among most things, he was well known for his great speeches and for issuing the Emancipation Proclamation. He gave a speech at the end of the film using Bill and Ted's catchphrase, Be excellent to each other and party on dudes. Now, Barron sadly died on December 1, 2000 at the age of 67. He was best known for his role as the voice of Admiral Donald Hayes in the 1980s animated TV series Robotech, of which he also served as the producer. He also made appearances on TV series such as Bonanza, Mannix, Love American Style, and Night Court. His final film role was in 1994 in A Dangerous Place as a Homeless Man. Socrates. Hmm. Tony Steedman. Then, Tony Steedman was a British actor who played Socrates, or Socrates, as Bill and Ted called him. In the film, he was 62 years old at the time of filming and had a long career in theater, television, and film. He was best known for his roles in British shows like Z Cars, Coronation Street, and Minder. Now, Tony Steedman sadly passed away in 2001 at the age of 73. He has appeared in episodes of My Two Dads, Citizen Smith, and Babylon 5. He also voiced the character of Justin Hammer in the first season of Iron Man the Animated Series. Tony Steedman was married to Judy Parfit, another British actress, from 1963 until his death. They had one son together. He also had a daughter from his previous marriage. Rod Loomis Then, Rod Loomis was 47 years old and he played Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. He diagnosed Ted's family dysfunction in the auditorium at San Dimas High School. Loomis was a veteran character actor who had appeared in many TV shows and movies such as Beastmaster, General Hospital, and All in the Family. Now, Rod Loomis is now 81 years old and has retired from acting. His last credited role was in 2006 in a TV show called Stargate SG-1. He was also in the 1973 off-Broadway revival of You Never Know and the 1995 tour of Jekyll and Hyde as Sir Danvers Carew. He is now a licensed practitioner of New Thought teachings, which are influenced by concepts of transcendentalism, first posed by Plato, a philosopher whose teacher was none other than Socrates. Dan Shore Then Dan Shore was 33 years old and he played the role of Billy the Kid. He was a notorious outlaw. His crimes spanned from 1877 to 1881. He was the first borrowed historical figure by Bill and Ted. He was one of the most charismatic and funny members of their group and he helped them escape from various dangers. Now, Dan Shore is currently 66 years old. His most recognized roles include Enoch Emery in John Huston's Wise Blood and Ram in Tron. He was a series regular on Cagney and Lacey and several other television series, as well as numerous guest star appearances, including a Ferengi doctor on Star Trek The Next Generation, a role he reprised seven years later on Star Trek Voyager. Clifford David Then, David was 61 years old when he played the role of Ludwig van Beethoven. He was a famous German composer and pianist who was deaf in his later years. He was one of the historical figures that Bill and Ted kidnapped in 1810 and brought to San Dimas in 1988. He was fascinated by the modern keyboards and synthesizers at the mall and played a rock version of his Ode to Joy on them, attracting a large crowd of fans. Now, David sadly passed away on November 30, 2017 at the age of 89. He is most recognized for his singing performances on several original Broadway cast albums. He was seen on television in the miniseries of Blind Ambition, as well as in political dramas Fear on Trial and Missiles of October with Martin Sheen. He appeared in episodes of Bonanza, The Big Valley, Charlie's Angels, Mary Tyler Moore, Murphy Brown, Party of Five, Murder, She Wrote, Will and Grace, and Law and Order. Al Leong Then Al Leong was 37 years old when he played the role of Genghis Khan. He was the founder and leader of the Mongol Empire between 1206 to 1227. He was most famous for nearly conquering the known world among many conquests. He assisted Bill and Ted in capturing Abraham Lincoln. Genghis Khan also became fascinated with sporting goods stores in the present. Now, Al Leong is currently 70 years old. He has had several small but memorable roles as a henchman in many popular action films, including Lethal Weapon and Die Hard. He has also collaborated with director John Carpenter in Big Trouble in Little China and They Live. Such appearances have garnered him a cult following. Leong had brain cancer in 1993 and suffered a stroke in 2005. 
Kimberly Cates then. Cates was 20 years old when she played a role of Princess Elizabeth. She was a 15th century princess living in England. She was rescued from an arranged marriage along with her sister, Princess Joanna. Bill and Ted, too, fall in trouble with their father, the king, but managed to escape with the help of Billy the Kid and Socrates. Elizabeth later joined the Wild Stallions and married Ted Logan. Now, Cates is currently 53 years old. She founded and is currently the CEO of Big Screen Entertainment Group, a Los Angeles-based publicly traded film production and distribution company. As an actress and prior to becoming a full-time film producer, Cates starred in more than 40 films and television shows. As a producer, she has worked on several films including Dirty Love, Babysitter Wanted, and William Shatner's Gonzo Ballet. Diane Franklin then. Diane was 27 years old when she played the role of Princess Joanna. She is a 15th century princess living in England and rescued from an arranged marriage along with her sister, Princess Elizabeth. She later joined the Wild Stallions and married Bill S. Preston. Ask Rufus explains that she's introduced the sisters to the modern century and that they too are destined to be part of Wild Stallions. Now, Franklin's currently 61 years old. Early in her acting career, Franklin appeared in TV commercials for Coca-Cola, Trident, Jell-O, and and Maxwell House Coffee. In 2012, Franklin published a memoir called Diane Franklin, The Excellent Adventures of the Last American French Exchange Babe of the 80s. In 2017, she published a second memoir called Diane Franklin, The Excellent Curls of the Last American French Exchange Babe of the 80s. Amy Stock. Then, Amy was 31 years old when she played the role of Missy. She is Bill and later Ted's former stepmother. She later gets married to Ted's brother Deacon. She was a senior in high school when Bill and Ted were freshmen. She is generally very friendly and supportive of Bill and Ted and mostly unaware of the awkwardness her presence in their lives and various marriages causes them. She is known to have an interest in the occult. Now, Amy is currently 64 years old. Stock has appeared in four television movies of the Gunsmoke series as Marshall Matt Dillon's daughter Beth and made guest appearances on Matlock, The Fall Guy, Hardcastle, and McCormick, Dynasty, Knots Landing, and High Incident, among others. She also played Fawn Hall in the miniseries Guts and Glory, The Rise and Fall of Oliver North. She was married to Robert Poynton from 1987 to 2004 and she has one child. Clarence Clemens Then, Clemens was 47 years old when he played the role of one of the three most important people in the world. He was presented as a futuristic character on a big chair. Clemens was best known as the saxophone player for Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Now, Clemens suffered a massive stroke and sadly passed away on June 12, 2011. He has worked with Aretha Franklin, The Grateful Dead, The Jerry Garcia Band, Furter, Ringo Starr and his all-star band, Jackson Brown and Lady Gaga. In 2014, he was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the E Street Band. He also made cameo appearances in several TV series including Different Strokes, Nash Bridges, The Simpsons, My Wife and Kids and The Wire. Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy. Ed Sullivan. Then, Ed Sullivan was 29 years old and he played the role of a stupid waiter. He was also actually one of the screenwriters of Bill and Ted. His character chants the lines Ziggy Piggy, Ziggy Piggy to Napoleon. The character was based on a real place, Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor. Now, Solomon is currently 62 years old. He is known for writing screenplays for Men in Black and Now You See Me. In March 2016, he completed production on Mosaic, a 12-hour long-form TV project for HBO in collaboration with director Steven Soderbergh and worked on an early version of a Universal The Invisible Man remake with Johnny Depp. He married Cynthia Cleese in 1995. They have two children and later divorced in 2011.